Welcome to Fair Play Frenzy Fanatics. I'm Fair Play 2333, and when it comes to sports, you're always in a frenzy. Why? Because you're a fanatic. I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but Caitlin Clark had an okay debut. Now, if I had to say one out of 10, I would give her a 5.5 or a 6. Well, one first thing we got to look at is she didn't get her team to win. They lost. They lost to a Dallas wing team that's not expected to be one of the top teams in the league this year. That's not alarming, but mm, it's one of those things where you got to get those wins. Now, where I will give Kaylin some slack at is that this is her very first game in the WNBA. Um, she had a lot of ooh and ah moments, moments that's going to be replayed over and over on ESPN, Sports Center. She was 5 for 13 from the three-point line. Um, for me, that was okay. It could have been better. I think she'll definitely get better as the season goes along. What I want to do, I want to see what happens when she goes up against some of those juggernauts, when she goes up against the number two player, the number three player, when she goes up against Dana Tarazi, when she goes up against, um, what's her name, Asia Wilson. Um, when she when she go up against those players, with, not only with those names, but with that game. One thing about the WNBA is the WNBA is based off skills and fundamental. That's why you see more players translate from college women basketball to WNBA than you see college men player translate to the NBA because the NBA is about skill, athleticism, um, and stuff like that. And the WNBA is strictly about skill. So you may have a lot of athleticism and then you get to the NBA and have no skill and you just can't translate. You can't fit in with the with the with the clamp down defenders where in the WNBA you end up um just getting your skill together and you go to the WNBA with the skill that you developed in college. And also the WNBA by being so brand new, um, it's not as much talent in the WNBA as it is in the NBA. Now, don't confuse that with me saying that it's no talent or don't confuse that with me saying the WNBA is playing players can't play obviously they can play obviously the WNBA players are very talented but the pool of talent to pick from is less than the pool of talent for the NBA players to pick from but this is my future prediction once that talent pool goes up and that pay goes up we'll see more people become WNBA players we'll see more women pursue basketball and also pursue basketball with the purpose of becoming a Caitlin Clark or Asia Wilson or Diana Taurasi or a, a Lady Kobe or a Lady, Lady Jordan or Maya Moore. Um, it's not enough money there for women kind of just feel like, all right, I'm going to go there and I'm going to get 300000 and that's nothing. Which to me, um, I'm not going to lie, that's kind of entitled. It's entitled for you to say $300,000 is not a lot of money. It's crazy. It's people out here who would give um, their eyesight to be able to make $300,000 um, in any amount of time. But anyway, um, salute to Caitlin Clark. I expect her to get much better. I expect the season to continue for her and continue in an upward trajectory. But I got to be honest about this. Like I say, if I had to give her, I would give her about a out of one out of ten i would give her about a 5.5 or a six and if i had the grader i would probably give her like a c minus or a c i think the biggest thing is that she was not scared and she played her hard out i think those are the two biggest things you can't teach she played the game she normally played she didn't seem timid and she made somebody fall thank you for tuning in to fair play frenzy fanatics I'm Fair Play 2333, and never forget, when it comes to sports, you're always in a frenzy because you're a fanatic. If you rocking with my sports takes, if you find them outrageous or entertaining, click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And don't forget to share this to your favorite sports group and your favorite sports group chat.